Greetings. My name is Dr. Namas Chandra, a distinguished professor of biomedical engineering at the New Jersey Institute of Technology. Today, I want to talk about something near to my heart and brain. There is nothing mild about mild traumatic brain injury, and you can do something about it. TBI can be caused from just a blow to the head, as in a fall, sports, or car accident. This head injury occurs when the head is violently hit against any object or just violently shaken. This is blunt TBI. It can also happen if there's a sharp object like shrapnel or bullet penetrating the head. This is ballistic TBI. The third kind, blast TBI occurs if you are in a combat zone, as in a blast attack. This can also happen in an industrial accident, like in Beirut or insurgent attack, as in Boston. No matter what the cause is, a blow, a bullet, or blast, the injury is the same. Meet Mr. Pondy. The year is 1987 and it is a cool December day in Madras, India. Pondy, a production engineer in a large corporation, was riding his motorcycle right there. On the way to work, he had to take a sharp turn to avoid an oncoming car. The cycle slipped, the helmet flew away, and he was dragged for about 100 meters with his head pulled along the pavement. He became unconscious and was treated in the hospital and sent home. He partially recovered and went back to work. However, within six months, he was paralyzed, lost his job, became bedridden until his death in 2012. For more than 25 years, Mr. Pandey suffered from TBI is one of about 69 million people worldwide affected by TBI every year. TBI did not just destroy his life, but his entire family. They could never ever fully recover. There is nothing mild about mild TBI. Pondy was my brother and our family paid a very heavy price. You should know more about TBI and do everything to prevent it. TBA can be classified into none, mild, moderate, severe, or lethal. A clinical, schema, uh, clinical coma scale is used to code the incoming patient and treatment strategies. The score is based on verbal, ocular, and motor responses right after injury. Many times, the short or long-term outcome of the patient may or may not be predicted by the score. In the US alone, TBA occurs every 15 seconds and someone dies every five minutes. About 75 to 90% of all TBA cases are mild. Mild TBA is also called as concussion. Concussion will not show up in MRI or CT scan. Concussion can have very serious effects such as memory problems, learning disabilities, sleep disturbance, and depression. There is absolutely nothing mild about mild TBI. This problem becomes even worse with repeated concussion. How come when there are no symptoms initially, all these problems develop in later life? Human brain is a most complex, critical, and delicate organ. It is more complex than any other organ or any other man-made device, including a spacecraft. There are many types of brain cells. While the lead actor is neuron, it has some important supporting actors like astrocyte and microglia. The chemical environment of the brain is very tightly controlled. And this is very critical for the neurons to talk to each other. There are about 87 billion neurons and they connect to each other with more than 1000 trillion connections. This is more 
than the number of stars in the entire universe. If you add or subtract any biochemicals, the communication becomes difficult or even impossible. This is what happens during PDI. We have thick skull. So why does injury happen? The brain inside the skull is more like a firm jello, locked in a very rigid structure. Inside the skull, it is anything but smooth. It is lined with hard ridges and projections. Even with a minor bump or fall, your brain shakes and hits against those ridges and rips many neurons. Can you imagine that we have about 100,000 miles of blood vessels supplying oxygen and energy? The jolt sometimes breaks blood vessels and let blood fill into the brain. While oxygen is good, blood is very bad as it is killing neurons. If the blood leak is very widespread, the brain will temporarily shut down, leading to loss of consciousness. Even if nothing shows up on the outside, the brain is swelling, bleeding and destroying the delicate balance of act or the neural communication network. Our brain integrates all the sensory information by talking to each other all the time. There are different brain regions that control different activities like hearing and vision. A slightly different jolt can induce different regions with different functional outcomes. If the brain chemistry is altered from the jolt, the communication environment is changed. With blood leaking into the brain, it may shut down temporarily causing concussions or permanently causing coma. This may happen immediately or take time, days, months or even years. But believe me, through the jolt, you have altered the brain and hence memory and all your behavior. Depending on how hard you are hit, the damage may recover in a short time or a long time or not at all. In our lab, we have exactly recreated the shock produced by a blast. The shock profile varies based on how far you are from the blast and how strong the blast is. We look for designing and testing better protective environment like helmets, goggles and pads. We determine the condition for mild PBI using animal models. We explore the mechanisms of injury, say blood vessel breaking or increase in oxidative stress or neural inflammation. We then examine the brain section by section for cellular and subcellular activities. We can see which region of the brain gets affected. If these waves come from front, side or back. Then any part of the, our body gets injured. Almost instantly, immune cells send chemical signals through the blood and get a lot of help to fight and recover. Brain is different. It has got its own defense mechanism since blood is not allowed to cross into brain. Microglia, the special brain immune cell, gets activated when the brain chemistry is altered. If microglia is activated, that means the brain is compromised. In these figures, you see that microglia gets activated and stay active for a long time. No MRI or CT can detect it. The struggle between injury and recovery can be short, long or never. This depends on how strong the blow is and how often it occurs. Natasha Richardson is a famous Tony Award winning actress and she was skiing in Cuba. She slipped and fell. Natasha is the wife of actor Liam Neeson. She felt fine. She was forced to go to the hospital, but was feeling fine, signed the waiver and walked home. She died in the next few days due to TBI. She was not wearing a helmet. Injuries may be harmless in the beginning. Symptoms may take time to develop. It may not always lead to death, but loss of memory, change in behavior, and may also lead to other neurological diseases like Alzheimer's disease. How do you protect children 
and elderly people from TBI. Make sure that the children wear helmets while on bike, skateboard or any other sport. You can and should always protect your head as though your life depends on you. It does. You may have an elderly parent or you will be one in the future. Let elders stay in a clutter-free, single floor, fully padded house. If they get hurt, make sure that they are fine, not for hours, but days. If in doubt, consult a doctor. Prevent every injury if you can. Always be aware of what can happen. Recognize when it happens and have a watchful eye. There is no nothing more important than brain. By acting now, you can help people like my brother Pondy and millions more and their families. There is nothing mild about mild TBI. You can and should do something.